A first of its kind groundbreaking study is underway in Knoxville's urban wilderness. Five minutes from downtown, it's almost 50 miles of dirt trail and dozens of acres of green space scattered across South Knoxville. And just as it is capturing new attention from researchers, this urban wilderness is on the cusp of expanding. On any given day, hundreds of bikers and dozens of hikers take advantage of Knoxville's urban wilderness. Just tons of miles of trails all in one spot. It's amazing. The enthusiasm is real. There is no doubt about the draw. Less than 10 minutes from downtown, almost 50 miles of hiking and biking natural surface trails across acres of green space in South Knoxville. In the parking lot right now, there are 17 cars. Nine of them are from out of state. It's amazing. This has become a destination. That's an encouraging snapshot, but University of Tennessee professor Gene Fitzhugh and his team are going deeper, drilling down in a new two-year scientific study of who, where, why, how, and when on that little down drop. people are taking advantage of this urban oasis. Our pilot work uh, shows that we average about 800 people a day here at Baker Creek using some sort of the trail. One of the early encouraging signs is happening right here at the pump track at Baker Creek. The age, sex, and diversity of the riders looks like the city of Knoxville. In fact, it, I would think it even shows a greater proportion of minorities and women and kids using Baker Creek. If you look out, there's a lot of kids at the pump track. There's a lot of parents watching their kids. Uh, it's just amazing the people going in and out. So that's encouraging to start. Uh, definitely. We're going to be the first city to be able to project and, and give a demographic profile of the users across the country. And at the same time researchers are launching their study, the urban wilderness is on the cusp of expanding. Proud of right next to William Hasty Park, aerial video reveals almost 30 acres of untouched forest up for sale. The opportunity to grow park space sparked a partnership between the city of Knoxville and the Appalachian Mountain Bike Club. We're just really thrilled to be in a position to be able to say, hey, this is important to the community. Uh, we'll lead the charge as far as um, getting it under contract, and, and we just need everybody's help to, to make sure that it becomes, yet again, uh, public space and green space forever. To close the land deal, the Appalachian Mountain Bike Club launched a fundraising campaign in April, encouraging people using these trails to invest in them. The goal? Collect the last $40,000 in donations to help fold a new layer of South Knoxville woods into the urban wilderness. What we're doing is we're not going to add necessarily miles and miles of trail, but we're going to be able to make some additional connections, which is what the urban wilderness is all about. We'll have 30 students every semester coming in to work on this. We've got uh, the 11 trail counters across the 55 miles of trails at key points. Our students are going to be out there validating the counts on the trail counter. The health impact study will be out this fall. So we will have rotating, revolving reports, not only for academia, but for the city officials and planners as they look at expanding the urban wilderness or looking at the amenities that might attract more people. Growing, yes, and popular, no question. Saturday, 3 p.m., and it's, it's a zoo out here. And now the new research underway will help prove it, offering a new science-backed study of the economic and health impacts this one-of-a-kind outdoor space is having on Knoxville. So let's talk money. A study in 2015 by UT's Baker Center showed as a regional attraction, the urban wilderness would likely pump more than $14 million every year into the local economy. That is more than half the economic dollars generated by the city's top tourist draw, Zoo Knoxville, at $30 million. We have a link about how you can take part and donate to expand the urban green space right now at WBIR.com. Robin?